sharp edges, and crystal clear geometries. The German architect Hans-Jörg Göritz has built a little city within the city of Vaduz, entwined with public spaces and the historic city. The new Landtag is a masterclass in precision, from urban planning to the tiniest element of brick, which makes up the entirety of the construction. The task wasn't really to erect a new building for the state parliament. My approach was to create an ensemble. The site already housed important elements. First of all, the state parliament, but also the National Museum and National Bank. We wanted to work with these existing elements using new typologies to create one unit, an urban environment. So it wasn't just about building new facilities for the state parliament, but creating an urban environment, a kind of agora, surrounded by a mix of old and new typologies. There is something unique about this kind of purposely minimalist architecture. You can feel it. It's solemn, dignified, and serious. This feeling carries right through from the exterior into the interior spaces, from the entrance to the heart of the construction, the assembly hall. Essentially, I try to work out the difference between areas which serve and areas which need to be served. The plenum is naturally the main feature, and that means the high house needs to be served. The long house, which flanks the foot of the mountain, contains administrative, office and meeting rooms, as well as an archive and the lounge. In this respect, it serves the high house. I once made the joke that there isn't a single straight line in this project, except, of course, for vertical lines. Everything is lopsided and crooked. The long house is curved and the high house is warped. There's a simple explanation for this. The long house follows the line of the foot of the mountains and the high house sits directly on a setback line, which was a necessary requirement of the competition. At first glance, what jumps out is the extremely precise use of material. The brick bonding gives the architecture a unique texture. Save for a few exceptions, Hans-Jörg Göritz has stuck to this material throughout the entire construction. Brick plays a key role in both the exterior and interior spaces, creating diverse but consistently subtle joint patterns. It goes without saying that craftsmanship and precision are defining elements in quality architecture. The warm, pleasant color radiated by the facing and paving bricks sourced from nearby Jura adds to the unique atmosphere. I expect a material to possess sensual and haptic properties and to age well over time. I think that facing bricks and bricks in general possess the incredibly sensual ability to age well, to reflect light well and to remain very resistant. If I can reduce a space down to the bare essentials, then there is no room left for ornament. Architecture isn't a stylistic art for me. Architecture doesn't have any style for me. I try to work only with the basics. <laughs> 